Okay, so today's tutorial is going to be using the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. It came out a couple months ago, then it sold out. It came back, sold out, now it's back. I got it on sale during Black Friday. If you have it, please take it out and you can play along with me. Um, excuse me. These are the colors. Snap, snapshot of the, I almost said Snapchat. Snapshot of the palette. And I will use almost all the colors in the palette. I have a few that were not in the palette, like the lid color is not in the palette. That is a um, shadow, uh, a golden, what is it called, Lord? Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture. And it's Mermaid Fantasy, which is like my favorite of all of them. So anyways, if you want to see how I achieved this hair flip, nice rocking, um, popping eye, deep lip. You know what you gotta do, keep on watching. <laughs> it is a doctor. It's a talk through, okay? It's a talk through. So it's gonna be longer, all right? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm laughing because y'all know that my son plays video games up here in my little makeup space, right? <laughs> and so sometimes when he's really heavy into it, I try to wait till he gets to a pause. <laughs> sometimes I'll be thinking like, dang, I wish my mom would have stayed downstairs. But anyway, so I'm gonna do a look today with the BH Cosmetics um, Carly Bible palette. It's really popular. Um, one of the YouTubers here did a collab with BH. I know it's been a minute. Um, palette was sold out on the initial release and when it came back in I made sure that I was able to purchase a couple of them. I even had a give I even had a giveaway on my Instagram. My Instagram is MUA underscore Larissa. If you're not following me there, please consider following me. Um, I'm more active on that than any other social media. And Here's what the palette looks like, the colors. And I'm gonna to try to do the entire look today using just this palette. I might have to use a couple of transition colors, but we'll see what I can do. So when I come back, I'm gonna have my entire face done, and then we will start on the eye. Okay guys, face is done pretty much, except blush and highlight. I'm gonna go in with this first color in the palette. It's this middle color at the top, right there. I'm gonna use that as my transition color. I'm using an Ink Glot 6SS brush. And we're going to work that into the crease as our blending shade. Okay, next I'm going to go in with, this is not in the palette, so I, my, my apologies. But I'm going to go in with Max Brown Script. Brown Script. And I'm going to work that in the crease as well. I'm going to go in with this Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear. Um, Cocoa Bear and Brown Script are usually intermixed as, as dupes, right? But clearly there is a difference between the two. And so this one is more reddish brown and the other one is like reddish brown. It's like a chocolate red brown. I, you know, but there is enough of a difference that it's, it can be a dupe or it can be different. Okay. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to work this in my crease. And I'm gonna keep building up this reddish, I want I want like a reddish brown color in the crease. A reddish brown color in the crease is what I'm going for. Okay, I'm going to go in with a blush and it's called Devil. And I really wanna add like a pop of orange and I'm gonna see if this will, um, is if it's deep enough to come up through that um, brown script and cocoa bear and kinda add to that reddish brown I'm looking for. Okay, so for the inner and outer corner of the eye, I'm gonna go in with the deepest maroon shade right here. I was almost thinking of doing this. You know what, let me let me try this one first. I'm gonna try this one first and see if it'll um, give me that deep color that I want. I don't know, let me try it. Let's try it. You know what, it's a shimmer so it's not. Um, let me go in with the first one that I said I was gonna go in with. 
the maroon one. Let's let's try that one. The maroon one. It's matte and I think it's deeper. I'm gonna pack this on the inner and outer corner. And just keep packing. I might add another color, I'm not sure. Okay, it's not dark enough. It's not the fault of the shadow. It's because of the color of my base, okay? So I went in with Laying Low Paint Pot, you know that, and I want a darker, I want that maroon to really pop. So I'm gonna have to put a darker base on and I was trying to be lazy and I didn't do it. So I'm gonna go in with this pencil from the Beauty Box 5 um, Beauty Box for December. It's called Total Intensity and it's an eyeliner, long lasting, intense color and it's black. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna try that. Let's, let's try this. And it, it, um, it, it's blendable, but I don't want to take the risk of uh, not being able to blend it good. So I'm just going to put down and then blend. And we do it on the other side. And you're just gonna blend that um, black base in. Okay, so now that we have a black base down, I'm going to take that same maroon color right here, and now I'm gonna work it on the inner and outer corners of the eye. And I'm just packing it on top of the base. blending okay so for the center part of my eye I think I'm going to mix this highlight shade right here this highlight shade and this color right here I'm gonna mix those two and put them on the center of my lid starting with the highlight shade Okay guys, all I'm doing right now is just taking that pencil brush and just blending around the little um, shiny parts so that there's no harsh line. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for the eye. I almost feel like I want to put something else on the lid to make it pop, glitter or something. I don't know. I don't know, but if I come back and I have something different, you'll know what happened. <laughs> okay, I'm about to do something that's either gonna enhance the look or make it worse, because I, I don't know, I just, I feel like something's missing. I feel like, I, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna take um, Angel Marino's Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders, and I'm gonna take Mermaid Fantasy. I have a little bit of Max Mixing Medium on the back of my hand, and I'm going to put that in the center of my lid. And then I'm going to put that Mermaid Fantasy on top of it. Okay. I can live with that, okay? I think that that's what I need, just a little pop of something. 
All right, so we're gonna come back and I'm going to have lashes on and then we're just gonna finish up the face. <laughs> okay, so I have lashes on and I really like the way it came out. I went ahead and put some black liner on the waterline because if my eyes started water, watering uncontrollably, I was gonna have to scratch the whole thing, but it's working okay so far. I'm gonna go in a little bit of that darkest color right on the outer part of my eye. Right, like that and then I think what I'm gonna do for the inner corner I think I'm gonna put or try to put a little bit of the um, let's try to put a little bit of the mermaid fantasy I think I've taken entirely too long but here we go we're gonna finish up the face so for highlight I'm going to I think I'm going to use a combination of the two middle two these two right here I'm going to go in with the lighter one first. I like it. I like it. And let's put the gold one over top of it. I like it. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use this um, limited edition Vintage Grape came out a long time ago. I can't remember the collection that it came out with, but I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to just smile and blend that in with the contour and the highlight. 